Inside Apple iPhone Factory The company which started out in a garage in California has become the first $1 trillion company of the world. Like any other startup, the company too has passed through certain failures and setbacks before achieving its tremendous success. Apple Computers was founded in 1976 by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. The first project was to build personal computers by the name of Apple One. But today, the company products include iPhone, iPad, Macs, Watch, Television, Macintosh, and much more. The launch of the iPhone has proven to be a game changer for the company. In this video, we are going to take you on a tour of the Apple iPhone factory. Just before we start, subscribe to Tech Evolution to get the latest notification for every new video. Now let's begin. The first and most important thing to realize is that Apple facilitates in China aren't truly Apple factories. Instead, the California tech titan outsources its manufacturing to a company named Harm High Precision Industry Limited, more popularly known as Foxconn Technology Group or just Foxconn. Foxconn was founded by Terry Gu, a flamboyant Taiwanese billionaire who has been dubbed the Donald Trump of Taiwan and is said to be worth around $5 billion. Foxconn is China's largest employer, employing over 1.3 million people in 2018. Infrastructure A vast Foxconn industrial facility in Zhengzhou, China, produces half of the world's iPhones. It employs up to 350,000 people and has given rise to a mini-city known as iPhone City by locals. Outside Foxconn's gates, manufacturing workers live in dorms and 10 or 12-story buildings, while a migrant workforce of entrepreneurs and merchants sets up shop below to sell their goods. They offer street cuisine, give massages, and sell socks and other trinkets to make a living. Foxconn is the country's largest private employer, with 1.3 million employees on mainland China. In 2007, it began making iPhones for Apple. The business park, which spans more than 2.2 miles and houses dozens of structures, appears to be like any other. Trees abound everywhere, and cops and security guards patrol the area. Workers on break set up camp in the shade. This area had nothing but dirt and corn and wheat fields a decade ago. Local farmers were bought out by the government in 2010, and the factory was up and running within a year. The facility was created in 2010 with $600 million in funding from the provincial government, almost entirely to service Apple's iPhone manufacturing needs. Even now, the government gives Foxconn a lot of help in the form of tax breaks and subsidies in order to keep production in Zhengzhou. It built power plants, paved new roads to the factory, helped cover energy and transportation costs, and paid bonuses to the factory for fulfilling export targets. Schedule of work At 6.30 a.m., get up. At 7 a.m., go to the factory. At 8 a.m., eat breakfast and begin working. Allow yourself an hour for lunch. The majority of people dine at the campus canteen. However, some choose to eat from outside vendors if they crave different food. Although the shift ends at 5 p.m., most employees will accept overtime and continue until 8 or 10 p.m. Workers have dinner with friends or play video games till 10 or 11 p.m. after work, then retire to your bed. For those who work the night shift, the timetable is essentially the same as for those who work the day shift. Security Facial recognition, metal detectors, and daily roll calls are all used on the 50,000 pink jacketed employees. During roll call, employees queue up with military precision to have their ID badges scanned on an iPad by a supervisor. They then proceed to the assembly line in single file, where they are subjected to facial recognition checks before being able to clock in. Manufacturing of iPhone Many iPhone components, such as the memory chip, modem, camera module, microphone, and touchscreen controller, are sourced from more than 200 suppliers throughout the world. The components made by various companies all around the world are eventually assembled into iPods, iPhones, and iPads by only two companies. Foxconn and Pegatron, both based in Taiwan, are the corporations in question. Materials For a long time, Apple has used 6,000 to 7,000 aluminum class metal as a base material for their iPhone. There are significant amounts of manganese and silicon in. Because of this combination of components, 
The alloy can be solution heat treated, which increases the strength of the alloy. The highest strengths of all commercially available aluminums is available in the 7000 series aluminum, which is alloyed with zinc and may be precipitation hardened. The casing has strength and body and corrosion resistance, as well as an excellent appearance, thanks to the aluminum oxide coating. Machining of the body Following the selection of the appropriate metal for the iPhone's body, the procedure goes on to the machining activities. Starting with aluminum and ending with milling, as seen in the iPhone 7 and iPhone 5 production videos, they complete all surfaces using milling. The edges of iPhones are polished with diamond tools to give them a gleaming shine. The milling procedure is carried out carefully to give the end product a sculptured aspect and an excellent harmony with the Gorilla Glass. 3D Polishing Rotational High Glass Finish All the iPhone after the iPhone 7 have featured an aluminum finish which is obtained via a rotational 3D polishing technology. According to Apple, the jet black finish is achieved by a revolutionary 9-step anodization and polish process that results in a uniform glossy surface. A completely re-engineered enclosure results in a water-resistant iPhone that offers unprecedented protection from spills, splashes, and dust. Putting it all together Foxconn's Zhengzhou facilities cover 2.2 square miles and may employ up to 350,000 people, most of whom earn around $1.90 an hour. FATP, or Final Assembly, Testing and Packing, is performed through this operation. The iPhone is assembled in around 400 processes, including polishing, soldering, drilling, and screw fitting, on 94 production lines in Zhangzhou. The plant has the capacity to make 500,000 iPhones each day, or 350 per minute. The iPhone is finally placed in a sleek white fiberboard box, wrapped and placed on a hardwood pallet, and then wheeled out to waiting vehicles as soon as it comes off the assembly line. Shipping Overseas iPhones headed for the United States and other parts of the world are transported 3 miles from customs to the Zhangzhou airport by truck. As iPhone production has surged in recent years, the airport has been greatly extended. Personal computers built in China were delivered to the US by container ship a few years ago, and the voyage took roughly a month. Smartphones are tiny enough to be shipped in large quantities by plane, and at a reasonable cost. A single wide-body Boeing 747 with aluminum canisters can easily carry 150,000 iPhones. Outro The company that was started with Amiga resources has seen certain setbacks, but those setbacks held the recipe to the success. Today, the company has a daunting reputation in the world of technology, and not only is it introducing new products, but also it has become the first $3 trillion company. Much of Apple's success can be traced back to its initial decision of launching the iPhone, which has helped it conquer the world of IT. Thanks for watching! If you're still here, make sure you like this video and also share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. See you all in another video. Till then, stay tuned to Tech Evolution. Bye!